K-means clustering is a method of vector quantization, originally from signal processing, that is popular for cluster analysis and data mining. K-means clustering aims to partition n observations into K clusters in which each observation belongs to the cluster with the nearest mean, serving as a prototype of the cluster. This results in a partitioning of the data space into Voronoi cells. The problem is computationally difficult. However, there are efficient heuristic algorithms that are commonly employed and converge quickly to a local optimum. These are usually similar to the expectation maximization algorithm for mixtures of Gaussian distributions via an iterative refinement approach employed by both algorithms. Additionally, they both use cluster centers to model the data. However, k-means clustering tends to find clusters of comparable spatial extent, while the expectation maximization mechanism allows clusters to have different shapes. Description Given a set of observations, where each observation is a d-dimensional real vector, k-means clustering aims to partition the n observations into k sets r equals a s1, a s2, a a euro, a s k so as to minimize the within cluster sum of squares where I one quarter I is the mean of points in C. History, the term k-means was first used by James McQueen in 1967, though the idea goes back to Hugo Steinhaus in 1957. The standard algorithm was first proposed by Stuart Lloyd in 1957 as a technique for pulse code modulation, though it wasn't published outside of Bell Labs until 1982. In 1965, EW4G published essentially the same method, which is why it is sometimes referred to as Lloyd 4G. A more efficient version was proposed and published in Fortran by Hartigan and Wong in 1975-1979. Algorithms, standard algorithm, the most common algorithm uses an iterative refinement technique. Due to its ubiquity it is often called the k-means algorithm. It is also referred to as Lloyd's algorithm, particularly in the computer science community. Given an initial set of k-means m1, 1, a euro, mk, 1, the algorithm proceeds by alternating between two steps, assignment step, assign each observation to the cluster whose mean yields the least within cluster sum of squares. Since the sum of squares is the squared Euclidean distance, this is intuitively the nearest mean. Where each is assigned to exactly one, even if it could be as assigned to two or more of them. Update step, calculate the new means to be the centroids of the observations in the new clusters. Since the arithmetic mean is the least squares estimator, this also minimizes the within cluster sum of squares objective. The algorithm has converged when the assignments no longer change. Since both steps optimize the WCSS objective, and there only exists a finite number of such partitionings, the algorithm must converge to an optimum. There is no guarantee that the global optimum is found using this algorithm. The algorithm is often presented as assigning objects to the nearest cluster by distance. The standard algorithm aims at minimizing the WCSS objective, and thus assigns by least sum of squares, which is exactly equivalent to assigning by the smallest Euclidean distance. Using a different distance function other than Euclidean distance may stop the algorithm from converging. Various modifications of k-means such as spherical k-means and k-medoids have been proposed to allow using other distance measures. Initialization methods Commonly used initialization methods are 4G and random partition. The 4G method randomly chooses k-observations from the data set and uses these as the initial means. The random partition method first randomly assigns a cluster to each observation and then proceeds to the update step, thus computing the initial mean to be the centroid of the cluster's randomly assigned points. The 4G method tends to spread the initial means out, while random partition places all of them close to the center of the data set. According to Hamely al., the random partition method is generally preferable for algorithms such as the k-harmonic means and fuzzy k-means. For expectation maximization and standard k-means algorithms, the 4G method of initialization is preferable. Demonstration of the standard algorithm As it is a heuristic algorithm, there is no guarantee that it will converge to the global optimum, and the result may depend on the initial clusters. As the algorithm is usually very fast, 
it is common to run it multiple times with different starting conditions. However, in the worst case, k-means can be very slow to converge, in particular it has been shown that there exist certain point sets, even in two dimensions, on which k-means takes exponential time, that is 2i copyright, n, to converge. These point sets do not seem to arise in practice, this is corroborated by the fact that the smoothed running time of k-means is polynomial. The assignment step is also referred to as expectation step, the update step as maximization step, making this algorithm a variant of the generalized expectation maximization algorithm. Complexity, regarding computational complexity, finding the optimal solution to the k-means clustering problem for observations in d dimensions is, NP hard in general Euclidean space D even for two clusters, NP hard for a general number of clusters K even in the plane, if K and D are fixed, the problem can be exactly solved in time O, N D K plus 1 log N, where N is the number of entities to be clustered, thus, a variety of heuristic algorithms such as Lloyd's algorithm given above are generally used. Lloyd's means algorithm has polynomial smoothed running time. It is shown that for arbitrary set of points in, if each point is independently perturbed by a normal distribution with mean and variance, then the expected running time of means algorithm is bounded by, which is a polynomial in, and better bounds are proved for simple cases. For example, showed that the running time of means algorithm is bounded by for points in an integer lattice. Variations, Jenks natural breaks optimization, k-means applied to univariate data, k-medians clustering uses the median in each dimension instead of the mean, and this way minimizes norm. k-medoids uses the medoid instead of the mean, and this way minimizes the sum of distances for arbitrary distance functions. Fuzzy c-means clustering is a soft version of k-means, where each data point has a fuzzy degree of belonging to each cluster. Gaussian mixture models trained with expectation maximization algorithm maintains probabilistic assignments to clusters, instead of deterministic assignments, and multivariate Gaussian distributions instead of means. Several methods have been proposed to choose better starting clusters. One recent proposal is k-means++. The filtering algorithm uses k-d trees to speed up each k-means step. Some methods attempt to speed up each k-means step using co-resets or the triangle inequality. Escape local optima by swapping points between clusters. The spherical k-means clustering algorithm is suitable for directional data. The Minkowski metric weighted k-means deals with irrelevant features by assigning cluster-specific weights to each feature. Discussion. The two key features of k-means which make it efficient are often regarded as its biggest drawbacks. Euclidean distance is used as a metric and variance is used as a measure of cluster scatter. The number of clusters k is an input parameter, an inappropriate choice of k may yield poor results. That is why, when performing k-means, it is important to run diagnostic checks for determining the number of clusters in the data set. Convergence to a local minimum may produce counterintuitive results. A key limitation of k-means is its cluster model. The concept is based on spherical clusters that are separable in a way so that the mean value converges towards the cluster center. The clusters are expected to be of similar size, so that the assignment of the nearest cluster center is the correct assignment. When for example applying k-means with a value of 1 to the well-known iris flower dataset, the result often fails to separate the three iris species contained in the data set. With, the two visible clusters will be discovered whereas with one of the two clusters will be split into two even parts. In fact, is more appropriate for this data set, despite the data set containing three classes. As with any other clustering algorithm, the k-means result relies on the data set to satisfy the assumptions made by the clustering algorithms. It works well on some data sets, while failing on others. The result of k-means can also be seen as the Voronoi cells of the cluster means. Since data is split halfway between cluster means, this can lead to suboptimal splits as can be seen in the mouse example. The Gaussian models used by the expectation maximization algorithm are more flexible here by having both variances and covariances. 
The M result is thus able to accommodate clusters of variable size much better than k-means as well as correlated clusters. Applications, k-means clustering in particular when using heuristics such as Lloyd's algorithm is rather easy to implement and Apple even on large data sets. As such, it has been successfully used in various topics, ranging from market segmentation, computer vision, geostatistics, and astronomy to agriculture. It often is used as a pre-processing step for other algorithms, for example to find a starting configuration. Vector quantization K-means originates from signal processing, and still finds use in this domain. For example in computer graphics, color quantization is the task of reducing the color palette of an image to a fixed number of colors K. The K-means algorithm can easily be used for this task and produces competitive results. Other uses of vector quantization include non-random sampling, as k-means can easily be used to choose k-different but prototypical objects from a large data set for further analysis. Cluster analysis In cluster analysis, the k-means algorithm can be used to partition the input data set into k-partitions. However, the pure k-means algorithm is not very flexible, and is such of limited use. In particular, the parameter k is known to be hard to choose when not given by external constraints. Another limitation of the algorithm is that it cannot be used with arbitrary distance functions or on non-numerical data. For these use cases, many other algorithms have been developed since. Feature learning, k-means clustering has been used as a feature learning step, in either supervised learning or unsupervised learning. The basic approach is first to train a k-means clustering representation, using the input training data. Then, to project any input datum into the new feature space, we have a choice of encoding functions, but we can use for example the thresholded matrix product of the datum with the centroid locations, the distance from the datum to each centroid, or simply an indicator function for the nearest centroid, or some smooth transformation of the distance. Alternatively, by transforming the sample cluster distance through a Gaussian ABF, one effectively obtains the hidden layer of a radial basis function network. This use of k-means has been successfully combined with simple, linear classifiers for semi-supervised learning in NLP and in computer vision. On an object recognition task, it was found to exhibit comparable performance with more sophisticated feature learning approaches such as autoencoders and restricted Boltzmann machines. However, it generally requires more data than the sophisticated methods, for equivalent performance, because each data point only contributes to one feature rather than multiple. Relation to other statistical machine learning algorithms, k-means clustering, and its associated expectation maximization algorithm, is a special case of a Gaussian mixture model, specifically, the limit of taking all covariances as diagonal, equal, and small. It is often easy to generalize a k-means problem into a Gaussian mixture model. Another generalization of the k-means algorithm is the KSVD algorithm, which estimates data points as a sparse linear combination of codebook vectors. K-means corresponds to the special case of using a single codebook vector, with a weight of 1. Mean shift clustering Basic mean shift clustering algorithms maintain a set of data points the same size as the input data set. Initially, this set is copied from the input set. Then this set is iteratively replaced by the mean of those points in the set that are within a given distance of that point. By contrast, k-means restricts this updated set to k points usually much less than the number of points in the input data set, and replaces each point in the set by the mean of all points in the input set that are closer to that point than any other. A mean shift algorithm that is similar then to k-means, called likelihood mean shift, replaces the set of points undergoing replacement by the mean of all points in the input set that are within a given distance of the changing set. One of the advantages of mean shift over k-means is that there is no need to choose the number of clusters, because mean shift is likely to find only a few clusters if indeed only a small number exist. However, mean shift can be much slower than k-means, and still requires selection of a bandwidth parameter. Mean shift has soft variance much as k-means does. Principal component analysis, 
it was asserted in that the relaxed solution of k-means clustering, specified by the cluster indicators, is given by the PCA principal components, and the PCA subspace spanned by the principal directions is identical to the cluster centroid subspace. However, that PCA is a useful relaxation of k-means clustering was not a new result, and it is straightforward to uncover counterexamples to the statement that the cluster centroid subspace is spanned by the principal directions. Bilateral filtering, k-means implicitly assumes that the ordering of the input data set does not matter. The bilateral filter is similar to k-means and mean shift in that it maintains a set of data points that are iteratively replaced by means. However, the bilateral filter restricts the calculation of the mean to include only points that are close in the ordering of the input data. This makes it applicable to problems such as image denoising, where the spatial arrangement of pixels in an image is of critical importance. Similar problems, the set of squared error minimizing cluster functions also includes the k-medoids algorithm, an approach which forces the center point of each cluster to be one of the actual points, that is, it uses medoids in place of centroids. Software, free, Apache Mahout k-means clustering, CrimeStat implements two spatial k-means algorithms, one of which allows the user to define the starting locations. ELKI contains k-means and various more advanced clustering algorithms, Julia contains a k-means implementation in the clustering package, MLPACK contains a C++ implementation of k-means, our k-means implements a variety of algorithms, SIPY vector quantization, Shogun contains an efficient C++ implementation of k-means with Python, R, MATLAB, Octave, C, C++, Command Line, Java, C, Lua and Ruby interfaces, Silverlight widget demonstrating k-means algorithm, Postgresql extension for k-means, CMU's graph lab clustering library efficient multicore implementation for large scale data. Torch contains an unsub package that provides k means clustering. WECAR contains k means and a few variants of it, including k means and x means. Spectral Python contains methods for unsupervised classification, including a k means clustering method. Scikit-learn machine learning in Python contains a k means implementation. OpenCV contains a k-means implementation under BSD license. Yale includes an efficient multi-threaded C implementation of k-means, with C, Python and MATLAB interfaces. Commercial, IDL cluster, CLUST WTS, Mathematica clustering components function, MATLAB k-means, SAS FastClass, Starter k-means, VZMAP k-means clustering, source code, ELK and WECAR are written in Java and include k-means and variations, k-means application in PHP, using VB, using Perl, using C++, using MATLAB, using Ruby, using Python with SIP, using X10, a parallel out-of-core implementation in C, an open-source collection of clustering algorithms, including k-means, implemented in JavaScript. Online demo. Visualization. Animation and examples, ELKI can visualize k-means using Voronoi cells and Delaney triangulation for 2D data. In higher dimensionality, only cluster assignments and cluster centers are visualized. Demos of the k-means algorithm, k-means and k-medoids, University of Leicester, clustergram, cluster diagnostic plot, for visual diagnostics of choosing the number of clusters, see also, canopy clustering algorithm, Centroidal Voronoi Tessellation, KQ Flats, Lindy Euro Buzoa Euro Gray Algorithm, Nearest Centroid Classifier, Self Organizing Map, Silhouette Clustering, Head Tail Breaks, References